do you guys have a Dell SonicWall switch that gets connected to 0x to another switch just to hook up two devices or maybe three? Let me show you an easy trick to basically turn in your unused ports on your Dell SonicWall here to something that's called Port Shield, which allows you to turn these extra ports into an actual switch just like what this could operate at. And then you don't need an entire switch just to plug in two or three devices. First thing to do is unplug those two ethernets that are plugged in for that LAN and we're gonna plug them in the back of this. Okay, we took those two Ethernet cables and plugged in the X6 and X7. So now let's go into our Dell server configuration and take it from there. Now, one last thing before we go, to keep in mind, this is only really use case scenario is you're, you're on a remote site, you got two or three devices that you need to plug in. This is normally a, a normal setup when you go from X0 into a 24 port switch because you're hooking up multiple computers, printers, laptops, access points, things like that. But in this case, this is just a remote site and we only have two devices to plug into this. So I don't want to have a whole network switch just to plug in two devices. So like I said, I plugged in the X6 and X7 on the Dell Sonic wall. So now let's go to the configuration file and see what we need to set up. All right, once you log into your Dell Sonic wall interface, you need to go to port shield groups. From there, you need to select the interfaces you want to assign to that port shield group. So we're selecting those X6 and X7 like we did. And then click on the configure button there on the top right. And you can see our X6 and X7 are selected. We're gonna go to port shield and we're gonna click on enabled. Then we're gonna go to port shield interface and go to X0 because we we want to link these two ethernet devices. We want to link these two ethernet ports to X0, just like a normal switch. You can adjust your link speed here, but we're going to just hit auto negotiate. So it'll just determine if it's gigabit or not. Go ahead and hit save. Once saved, now you can go back to your interfaces and you can see our X6 and X7 in the port shield group to X0. So what that means is those two interfaces are now sharing the same as it would be plugged into X0. There you guys have it.